Well, FBI spying in the 2016 election could be even more far-reaching than we already knew. Trump advisor Michael Caputo says that in 2016, he and Roger Stone were approached by a man under the alias Henry Greenberg, who asked for $2 million in exchange for dirt on Hillary Clinton. Greenberg, documents indicate, has also worked as an FBI informant over the span of 17 years. Caputo thinks he may have been informing when he approached the campaign. Michael Caputo joins us tonight. Michael, thank you very much uh, for coming on. So this is one of those stories that's tantalizing because the facts that we know for certain or seem to know for certain point right to the FBI. This guy clearly, he listed the FBI and an FBI agent on an immigration application. So he, he apparently was working in some capacity for the FBI, which probably means he, he was, was not working fact, for the Russian government. Right. Right. We I know mean, that. In fact, we do. And, and uh, when I, when I uh, w w was interviewed by the Mueller investigation on May 2nd, I exposed uh, or, or uh, uh, answered uh, about this Greenberg approach uh, in response to a perjury trap. And that really uh, angered my uh, interviewer. And his emotional response was a red flag to me. They seemed to know more about it than I did. So when I got out of uh, my Mueller investigation interview, uh, my GoFundMe for my legal fund went through the roof, and I used some of those funds to hire investigators in the United States and Russia to find out more about Henry Greenberg. And we quickly found out through an Immigration and Naturalization Service uh, filing that he made in 2015 that, uh, that he signed under oath saying that he was an FBI informant for 17 years, also here in Iran and in North Korea, and he provided 14 different FBI informant visas as proof of that. So we, I quickly dug into every aspect of his life. You can see all of it at democratdossier.org. Henry Greenberg goes by four other names. He's been in jail 10 years in Russia, committed uh, assault with a deadly weapon in Los Angeles, served time in prison here. And before, the FBI had thrown him out of the country, deported him in 2000. But somehow he's back. And he's living under FBI visas. And the question isn't, was he an FBI informant? The question is, did he take time off from his long career as an FBI informant to have lunch off the clock and meet Roger Stone? That's the question. He's only here because he's working for the FBI. Otherwise, they'd have deported him again. So this would be, if what you're saying is true, this would be the second verified instance of the Obama administration's FBI spying on the Trump campaign. How can you find out if that, in fact, was what was happening? Uh, two different things. Also, there, it's also it could be proof that this uh, uh, investigation from the Obama administration began two months earlier than they're actually admitting to right now, as early as May instead of July. So uh, we understand that our investigation has emboldened uh, investigators in Congress, Republican investigators, we believe it's very easy for them, if they can get any documents out of the DOJ, to find out if Henry Greenberg, uh, who goes by many other names, Henry Oknyansky is his FBI informant name, right. if he was under another FBI informant visa in 2016. And they should find out. If he and was, they should. it's a jackpot. I don't care if nobody thinks it's a big deal, it was a big deal. Michael Caputo, thank you for that. Appreciate it.